So like, let's say you got the ice cream man coming around, you know, your, your block. The ice cream man, he's, he's driving down, you hear the noise, you're like, oh man, I want ice cream. What's going on, guys? Now listen, before you jump to conclusions, you have to bear with me on this. I understand that everyone's attention spans like 14 seconds because of TikToks and all that stuff. Before I get started and talk about some of the negative stuff that really does need to be said, I have to talk about the pros and I have to talk about why I'm talking about this. Otherwise, it sounds like I'm just shaming the game and I'm not doing that. I'm actually making this video for the Gran Turismo community. I'm making this to be productive. I'm making this as a voice so it gets better. I understand it's new. I understand it just came out. It's not going to be perfect. Look, I get it. Okay. However, just so you know, I love Gran Turismo 7. Before I get started, before I start freaking out, I love this game. I think it's great that in Gran Turismo 7, they've gone back into this right here. They got the, you know, they have the old circuit. Well, not the circuit experience, the license test. They got those mission challenges. That's cool. Okay. Like, I think it's great. The heritage is back. This is where Gran Turismo came from. Awesome. Okay. And, and that's awesome. I think the physics are good. I think that the, uh, the force feedback feels great in the game. The graphics are great. All that stuff is good for single player stuff. This video is talking about online. That's why you clicked it. That's why the title says what it says. I'm only talking about sport mode and multiplayer, okay? These two topics. So with all the nice stuff that I just said, now let's get into the online part, all right? Now, what in the heck did they do with the online in this game? I'm so frustrated that my shirt just ripped off, okay? Like, you just saw me right there as the campaign guy, right? I was the nice campaign guy. I like hanging out with Lucas and Sarah, yeah, whatever. Now I'm the online guy, all right? Uh, we're back into reality here. I play Gran Turismo because I want to play it online. Everything I just said in terms of the single campaign and all that stuff, yeah, I agree with that, okay? Cool, but it doesn't apply to me. I do not play single player stuff. I just don't do it. I'm an online player, been doing it for a long time. Online is really all I know. So when you take away something like this or you break it, it makes the game useless for someone like me who just likes to play online. Now we have to we have to talk about that, okay? Remember, I just told you a second ago as Mr. Campaign Guy that I understand the whole novelty of the game and all that. I get it. But like I said, we're in online mode now, baby. Okay, so let's let's talk about this. Now, what you're gonna see right there in your top screen, the top right hand side, that is Gran Turismo Sport. Now I'm gonna show you how backwards this game went, and I'm gonna tell you why in this video, why it's happening, because I figured it out. Let's go ahead and click uh, multiplayer, right? We're gonna do this step by step because I think that's the only way that if Polyphony sees this video, I think this is the only way they're gonna understand what I'm saying. So we're gonna click lobby, okay? I got two controllers right here. You see right there in the top right, that's Gran, that's Gran Turismo Sport on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now we're gonna go back and forth on the screen. Now look at this right here, connecting a server. Great. So. This is ridiculous. Okay, so look right here. Actually, you know what? Look at your top right, right there. I'm gonna go to lobby right here on your top right. Okay. Um, and here we go. We're just booting right in. Let's go to this right here. Oh, look, I'm already in the lobby. Look at that. Look at this. This is the lobby. I'm already here. I can already create a room right now. Look at this. You know what? Let's just say create room. Whatever. The other one's still loading in the top right. Let's go ahead and just, uh, you know what? I can just load settings. Oh, look, we finished on the top right. We'll just load this up. Okay, right here. Let's go back to our main screen. Okay, so now we are in the Gran Turismo 7 screen. This is Gran Turismo 7. We're going to go to... Now, if you'll notice, comparing the two, right, you'll notice how much nicer Gran Turismo Sport actually looks than Gran Turismo 7. Okay, you're going to notice that. Now, let's look right here. You can see that, you know, obviously, uh, no one is playing online in Gran Turismo 7 because apparently in Gran Turismo 7... Nobody wants to play online. Okay, so you can see there's one person here. One, 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 one. Cool. So let's go to create room. Now, this instantly looks terrible. Going back to this screen, look how bright it is. Look how nice this is, right? It says load. You can't see it right here because, you know, my stupid self is in the way. But look, you got load settings. This is save. And this is your create room. Okay, right here in the bottom left. This is so easy. Z28 Gaming, cool. We can do like our track, take a look at that, number our laps, awesome. Tire wear, look how simple this is, guys. Now, we're going to make a room here too, okay? We're, we're literally going to do all this. I'm going to max this out so we don't get a lot of people in here. We're going to do S, and I'm only going to put two, two people in this room. So if someone joins, at least we're not getting a full lobby. I don't want people to think I'm going to be doing a race. Now, watch when I go down here. Here's the key. So let's do group three, okay? We're going to do group three. 
Very simple. BOP is on. Balance of performance is on. And by the way, these aren't the only problems I'm going to go over right now, okay? And some of you guys are probably watching this video being like, oh my God, this guy's ranting for no reason. Like, the game just came out. No. Incorrect. I'm going to prove to you in this video that this was a choice. This is not, this is not a mistake. This is not like a beta, oh my God, we screwed up. So, I'm sorry, guys, sorry. No, no. This is on purpose. They decided to make these tweaks. This was this is somebody sitting back going like, you know what, man? I think I'm going to I think I'm going to make some people mad this weekend, bro. Let's do this. Let's do this. Like that is what happened. And I'm going to show you why. Now look, BOP on. We're going to do let's do racing soft, right? We'll do racing soft tires, okay? And then no limit whatever, tuning prohibited. Very very simple, right? We'll go through this. All this stuff doesn't really matter. This is the same. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. Okay, cool. Let's create the room. Got it. So we're going to create the room. Now, now we're going to go on GT7. So GT7, already instantly slower. I don't know why there's like some lag here. I'm not really sure what that's about. It's just like slower when you click, whatever. You don't have load or you don't have save settings on your top left. So you're pretty much screwed in terms of, uh, you know, trying to save your settings. So you have to make a new room from scratch every single time. Brilliant. Uh, so now let's go to Z28 Gaming. We'll do Z28 Gaming 4. Okay, let's go down here. We're going to, you know, we're going to do the same thing, man. Let's do a little bit of Laguna Seca. Where's that at? Okay, it's Laguna Seca. Great. All right. Let's do four laps here. Uh, all this, this is new. This is the new dynamic weather, which is awesome, by the way. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, this doesn't matter. Rolling start. Yeah, cool. This is where it starts getting a little weird. Okay. What, what is this about? BOT tuning for, forbidden. Okay, now we've changed the, the wording a little bit. Now, before some of you guys jump all over me and be like, oh, have you even tested this? Have you done this? Have you done? You're damn right I did. I had a stream yesterday, and I was trying this for like hours, insanely frustrated, and I finally figured out how everything works. So I'm going I'm to tell you that in the video. But what you want to do is you want to put tuning on. You want to put the BOP tuning forbidden on. You have to do this. If you want to make a fair race, a fair tuning race, this is what you would do. So prohibited, right? Boost none, slipstream weak, whatever. This is how you would do it. We're trying to make an identical room. Okay, so what we're going to do, group three. This is where it gets stupid. Again, there's some like PP limit here. Why is there a max power output and a minimum weight? This should be gone. I don't know why it's here. We're trying to make sure that everyone's using racing softs, okay? So racing soft. I don't know why that little change is so different, but it's fine. So let's keep moving on. This is a uh, Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, right now you're seeing on your screen. So let's, let's go ahead and pick car real quick, guys. Let's go ahead and jump in. No, what do we got? Is that the Viper? Okay, cool. I got to put softs on. That's fair enough. Very easy. Look at that. It just gave me an error. It said, hey, you need to put softs on. Easy enough. Uh, we're just going to go over here. We're going to go to softs. We got it right here. We can use any tire compound that we want. Actually, it's not a problem at all. So we're going to go and we're going to go back. Look how fast this is. Isn't that nice? Uh, let's go ahead and join the game. Okay, we're right into this. No problem. Look at this. I'm on the track, baby. I'm good. Look at this. I got my brake bias right there. Let's go ahead and set that to like, what? One, two, three. That doesn't matter what I haven't set it. Point is, it's great. You know what I mean? Everything's working just how we want it to. We can change our bias just like this in no problem. It's, it's real fast. And you know what's great about this? Check, take a look at this. So I'm going to go out of this screen. I know that I can change my bias. It's like, wait a second. Maybe, maybe I screwed something up. Maybe I screwed. You know what? Let me, let me uh, go to the top here and hit change event settings. You know what? I think I want to do, I think I want to do five laps. And I think I want to do, you know what? Um, I'm going to do racing medium tires. Let's do that. Let's do racing mediums. Okay. So let me just change that real quick. All right, sweet. We're good to go. So now all I got to do is go here and then just change my racing medium tires. Look at that. We're good to go. Let's race. You know, I'm locked in. All right. Now let's go to Gran Turismo 7. We're in Gran Turismo 7. Sweet. I've made my Laguna Seca lobby here. Okay. So you're going to take a look here. You're going to look. We got our racing soft tires. It's exactly what we wanted. And look, we have hard tires there. That's kind of interesting. Kind of weird that, you know, that's just sitting there like that. And the other ones are grayed out. A um, little bit weird. A little bit kind of, kind of, you know, kind of weirded out by that. So let's go ahead and enter, enter the course. No problem. Same. Wait a minute here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We got, we got one, we got one error already here. Um, excuse me. Where's my brake bias? Wait, is it here? No, it's not. Okay, so. Wow, that's weird. So I don't have brake bias. Well, why, why don't I have brake bias? 
Well, no big deal. Maybe I screwed up. Maybe I screwed up in the settings real quick. Let me uh, cancel this. Let me uh, let me go edit the room real quick. All right, so I'm gonna edit the room. Okay. Um, let me edit the room. Okay, host menu. It's gotta be here. Oh, okay. Start race. Okay. Um, enter. Okay, enter course. Okay, got it. Uh, spectate. View event settings. Here it is. I can edit the room here. No, you can't edit the room. Okay, let's stop just messing around. You can't edit the room. So once you make a room in this game, you just saw me do it on your top right. You just saw it. You could go back, you can edit the room, but you also saw that you had break bias on the top right. You do not have break bias in this game. Look what I did. If, and I learned this last night, guys, if you have BOP on and tuning prohibited, Break bias will not work on the track. Yes, I do have the brake controller purchased in the tuning section. If I disable BOP, if you put this to off, you can use your brake controller and you could use brake bias. But that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to make a balance, a BOP enabled tuning prohibited race. That's what we're trying to do. You can't do that. You can't. If you want to use brake bias on your race, can't do it. You have to have tuning enabled. That's stupid. If you want to change the track when you have a lobby, can't do it. They just got rid of it if for, for no reason. So now I've just made, I just made a whole new lobby and I'm like, all right, cool. Like I really want to race this Tycan turbo around the track or whatever the hell it is that you got. So then you go over here and you're like, awesome. So the, the host is cool. He's allowing me to use any tire compound that I want. Hell yeah, let's go ahead and put some super softs on just like I used to, you know, when I play Gran Turismo Sport, right? I can just go ahead and go here and be like, oh, let me put some super softs on. All right, awesome, let me just do that real quick. All right, sweet, so let's go to car settings. Let's go to front tire. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Why is that grayed out? Why is that grayed out? What is that? What is that? Maybe it's this one. Oh, wait, that's grayed out. Hmm. Why is that grayed out? Is that a bug in the game, guys? This is a bug, right? There's no way they did this on purpose. <laughs> oh, baby. I got news for you. Welcome 2022 where microtransactions are your friend. I It just clicked. This whole thing. You notice I can't change different tire compounds. You know why I can't? Because they want you to grind for it. Because they want you to pay for it. That's why. Let me explain to you real quick. Go ahead. If you've been sticking around for this long, I appreciate you. But go ahead and check this out. Well, that's weird. I just I just held down the PlayStation button and all of a sudden I see an add-on pack for $2.49 that says 100,000 credits. Why don't you look at that? It'd be nice if I had a little bit of extra cash so I can buy some different tires for different cars, huh? That'd be kind of cool. So this way I don't have to see Sarah and Lucas and Lucas like bothering me the entire time to go to his barbecue so he can rant about his garage and Sarah making me go to deep forest and drive around tracks with no gas in it. Hate those two names now, by the way. But anyway, so if we move down, oh, would you look at this? Look at that. 20 bucks gets me 2 million credits. Well, hell, if I just buy this, I can get myself a bunch of group three cars and I don't have to grind. I don't have to listen to Sarah talking about the same thing over again. I don't have to go to Lucas's house. I can just buy this and then I can get myself multiple group three cars multiple different tire compounds, brake controllers, and then I could take all that stuff and I could play it online. Do you think it's an accident? Do you think that maybe the reason why this is happening is because they want you to pay for it? You're damn right it is. So that's what's going on. So if you want to race with different tire compounds online, you have to purchase the tire compounds per vehicle. You know what this is? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give you an example of what this is. So like, let's say you got the ice cream man coming around, you know, your, your block, the ice cream man, he's, he's driving down. You hear the noise. You're like, Oh man, I want ice cream. You know, right. You see this guy coming out and yeah, that voice I made, that's me. That's me trying to get ice cream. Okay. So like, let's say I go out there. I'm like, Hey, Mr. Ice cream man. What's up, bro? Listen, go ahead and give me one of those vanilla cones real quick. All right. And he's just like, you know what? I got you, man. Here's a vanilla cone. And I'm like, you know what? Let's get some sprinkles. Let's throw some sprinkles. And he's going to be like, whoa, 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 you want sprinkles? I'm like, well, yeah, can I get some sprinkles? What is it, like an extra buck for sprinkles? Well, um, sorry, sir. So we actually charge per sprinkle. So if you want like 10 sprinkles, it's 33 cents a sprinkle. So we don't charge like, you know, a dollar for sprinkles. You got to like pay for it. So if you want like 
45 sprinkles, you know, it's going to be like, you know, $37. Okay. So that, that is exactly what Gran Turismo is doing. If you are an online player and you just want to jump on right now and you want to do this race, guess what? You better know how to tune because if you don't know how to tune, you're going to get destroyed because all of these races right now are tuning only. So you can get into this race right now and you can come in last if you want to, or you can spend about four or five hours trying to figure out what each car setting does. Do you want to do that? Let's take a look at it real quick. Go ahead and go through all these settings real quick and figure that out. Go ahead and just change the damping ratio real quick and the natural frequency and the camera angle, the toe angle real quick. Mess around with that initial torque and acceleration sensitivity. And then while you're at it, you might as well just go over here and take a look at the transmission and go through each one, each gear, just to make, make sure it's optimal for that track. And then after we do that, go ahead and just change the ECU output, the anti-lag system, and then some of the, the rear and you know, clutch flywheel and stuff. You know, you really need to get into that, okay? Because if you want to play online and you've had a hard day at work, you want to come through and make sure that you do all this stuff and study, I'm going to send you guys a book. You can sign up for like mybooksgt.com. I'll go ahead and send you a book on how to do this and you can go ahead and get a degree in it, all right? Just so you can play like a $60 game online. And keep in mind that I'm doing this for the good of the Gran Turismo community. It's not as negativity. It's constructive criticism. This is what I believe makes developers change their ways and makes the game more enjoyable for all of us. Whether you are a single player person or you are an online person, this is going to help all of us. But anyway, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. See you later, guys.